Welcome to our evening prayer service at Beautiful Savior as we close our days trusting in God. Tonight we look at that promise of hope that we have in God, that no matter what you are going through, with God there is hope. We can rest in that assurance and peace. A quick announcement as we start our service is that starting next week, we move our evening prayer services to Wednesdays as we start our Lent midweek services. We invite you to join us on Wednesdays or whenever is convenient for you as we start Ash Wednesday looking at the Red Letter Challenge, looking at 40 days with a series of readings, challenges, and ways that we interact as a congregation, taking Jesus at his words and looking to how that changes our discipleship. Tonight, though, let us rest in that peace, in that promise, and in the hope that God has for us. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night. Amen. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. They are new each morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. The Lord is my portion. I will wait for him. At the close of the day, we turn confessing our sins, confessing our failures, confessing the wrongs we have done, because with him there is forgiveness. Let us confess our sins. We confess, Almighty God, God, our our Heavenly Father, Father, we have sinned against you you through our our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Rest in the assurance and in that peace of God, the peace of God that surpasses our understanding. For while we were sinners, God sent his Son to redeem and to forgive. I announce to you the forgiveness that he has won for you, that he has given to you as a called and ordained servant of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and by his command and in his stead, I announce to you the forgiveness of all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our reflection, we turn to Psalm 62 this evening as we read responsively. My soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and honor depends on God. He is my mighty rock and refuge. We hear now our readings for the night, reflecting and pausing as we hear of that hope we have in God. We encourage you as you go through this to take time to be in prayer and reflection on what God has said. If you need to pause, if you need to take time in prayer to listen to the words as we have several short readings, we encourage you to do so and hear of the hope that we have, the hope in one who is greater than all we are going through. We hear now God's word. Romans chapter 5. Starting at verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, 
because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Second Corinthians chapter 4, starting at verse 8. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that this life may also be revealed in our mortal body.
Hebrews chapter 6, starting at verse 17. Because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what was promised, he confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have been fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for our soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where our forerunner, Jesus, was entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Psalm chapter 27, starting at verse 13. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord. We find hope, not in what we have done, but in what God has done for us. Let us confess that faith that we have with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the, the life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. As we join together in prayer this evening, we invite you to let us know your prayer request. We would be glad to include those, to lift those prayers up here at Beautiful Savior. There will be time where we pause where if you have prayers, we encourage you to join us in prayer to lift up your needs as well. Let us pray. Heavenly and gracious Father, we turn to you as the source of all hope, as the one who is there in times of trouble, as the one who has given us an out through your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that you would be with us, that you would strengthen us as we close our day, that you would remind us of that hope we have in you. Help us, Lord, to trust in your hope rather than in the hope that we see around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, Heavenly Father, we lift up to you the needs that we see around us, the needs of the earth, the needs of the people. We lift up to you, Lord, the needs of those that are hungry, homeless, those that are going through times of lacking of job, employment, finances, those that are going through difficult times with their family members. Strengthen them, Lord, in the hope that you are the one who has made all things and have promised to renew all things and have done so in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great Almighty Father, the one who springs all hope. We pray to you in times of trouble. We pray to you when things are going as we know they shouldn't. 
We pray, Lord, as we see so many issues all around us, issues that we cannot control, issues that are beyond our comprehension. We pray, Lord, do not let us become despair. Do not let us become uh, become overwhelmed by these disasters. But Lord, hear our prayers. Console those that are in mourning, those that are afflicted, those that are going through difficult times. And help us see that you are there in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, we pray for peace and harmony in our times, that we would live together in the peace and quietness that you have promised. We implore you, Lord, to continue to push back to stop the plans of those that would do evil. We pray, Lord, you would put an end to violence and strife, that you would put an end to the suffering of so many people. We pray, Lord, that you would be with those that are sick and going through times where they do not know what they what the outcome will be. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to teach our hearts to follow your way, to follow your ways instead of our inclinations, instead of the evil malice, hatred, and enmity that pours out from us. Lead us to your truth that we hear in your word of that hope that we have and that restoration that you have promised. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, We pray for those that are struggling at this time, for those that are struggling with the economy, those that are struggling finding jobs, those that are struggling finding food, those that are struggling with addiction, and those that are fearful for their health. You know, Lord, how all this will end, and you have given us hope, hope that we can face tomorrow because you have given us the end result, that you have conquered all things. We pray that you would be with them, help them, supply for them, place people in their life to connect with them, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those on our prayer lists that are sick, those that are struggling, those that are in need. We include in our list Bob, Lida, Lisa, Roger, Sherry, Willard's sister, and those that we lift up to you at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for all of your many gifts, for the hope that we have that we can rest in your peace, rest knowing that you are there. We continue on seeing that path that you have before us, that path of hope instead of despair, of life instead of death. Hear us as we join together as your people, as your Son taught us to pray. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, Hallowed Hallowed be be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come. thy Thy will will be done, done. on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
as we continue looking and trusting in God this evening for his hope, we read responsively our next responsive psalm, Psalm 33. The eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him. On those whose hope is in his unfailing love. To deliver them from death and keep them from famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. As we close in prayer, we turn reading and praying to gather Luther's evening prayer. I thank, thank you, you, my, my Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Christ, Christ your dear, dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. They are new each morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. The Lord is my portion. I will wait for him. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night. Amen. Amen. Rest this night in God's peace. Rest in that blessing that our Lord and Savior has, that there is hope in him. Receive now his blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give to you his peace. Amen. Rest in his peace this night.
person